The red supergiant stars are a potential source of explosions. They appear swollen and red because they are fusing heavier atoms in a last-ditch attempt to prevent collapse. But in the end, gravity will triumph, and the red supergiant's core will collapse, resulting in a supernova. We've always known it was inevitable, but the timing wasn't known. Betelgeuse, a brilliant red star in Orion, is the most well-known example of a red supergiant. Roughly 550 light-years distant, it has the mass of 18 suns and a diameter of about 5.5 arcseconds. Eventually, it will explode, making it brighter than the moon, and it will be the nearest red supergiant to Earth. This, of course, has led to wild speculation over the star. Does it have the potential to go off within our lifetime? Is the supernova light already here? And we're simply waiting for it to arrive. No one in the astronomical community is sure, but the best guess is that it's not. Recent research, however, may allow us to know months in advance that Betelgeuse will explode. Red giant supernovae may be explained by one of two broad categories. On very different time frames, both models predict that a red supergiant should fade before bursting. According to the superwind theory, a star's stellar wind is sparkled by the increasing rate of fusion at the end of its life. Over decades, the star's outer layer is stripped away by this wind, leaving behind a thin, dark layer of cold gas that surrounds the star. While the quick outburst model forecasts a final period of less than a year, during which more than a tenth of solar mass may be ejected, the solar mass loss rate is predicted to be far lower. In the last few months of its life, the star would fade by a factor of 100 due to this. With this study, the researchers analyzed every instance of a red supergiant supernovae in which the star was spotted before its explosion. Since most supernovae are discovered after their explosion, just a few dozen of occurrences of excellent pre-explosion observations have been made between 1999 and 2017. In every case, however, star brightness was rather stable in the decades before supernovae. This debunks the superwind theory and indicates that a red supergiant should fade considerably before bursting. We have seen Betelgeuse's star fade as it expelled a cloud of gas, but not to the point where an explosion was imminent. We don't have enough data on red supergiants to see them rapidly declining before the Big Bang, but that could change in the future if more long-term sky surveys become available. Given how thoroughly we've researched Betelgeuse, our red supergiant neighbor might be very likely to be the first star to warn us of a forthcoming supernova. Let us know what you think in the comments section below. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, check out our previous videos, and visit our website if you love reading at www.nasaspacenews.com. Thanks for watching.